Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I am Dr. Elisa Cassinotti from Italy. I would like to thank the president and the chairman for the opportunity to speak at this meeting. I'm very sorry I cannot be there in person. My presentation today will deal with intraoperative imaging modalities for bile duct injury prevention. Uh, and especially contrast cholangiography and ICG and the preferable timing to use them. I have nothing to disclose. As it is well known, the rate of uh, bile duct injury during laparoscopic cholecystectomy has settled around 0.5% maximum in last decades. However, uh, as this kind of surgery is among the most performed in general surgery, the number of patients who still undergo this serious complication is definitely too high. As shown by this study from an engineering rather than a medical point of view, the primary cause of bile duct injury during laparoscopic cholecystectomy lies primarily in a visual perceptual illusion. Surgical technical mistakes originate principally from misperception. For this reason, international guidelines like Tokyo guidelines, in addition to recommending to proceed according to standardized steps, state the value of perioperative imaging in potentially reduced bile duct lesions. As summarized by these recommendations from a group of experts from IRCAD in Strasbourg, there is no evidence in literature that significantly demonstrate that intraoperative uh, cholangiography, IOC, so the standard cost contrast cholangiogram, could prevent a BDI. However, the use of IOC is recommended to define a clear anatomy. In this 2017 paper, the role of fluorescence cholangiography was initially investigated, although there were no data from randomized control studies. Still, the comparison between intraoperative uh, cholangiogram and ICG poses the same limitations encountered in the past for intraoperative uh, contrast cholangiogra cholangiography studies. Indeed, a fourfold increase in uh, bile duct injury rate, let's say from 0.1% to 0.4%, would require a 4,500 patients per arm in a randomized control study to detect a statistically significant difference. So the logistics and cost of such an RCT would be overwhelming. More recently, also SAGES, in collaboration with other surgical societies, published evidence-based recommendations and documented expert opinions. It is again strongly recommended to use intraoperative biliary imaging to mitigate the risk of bile duct injuries, while the use of fluorescent imaging could help clarify the biliary anatomy, but it must not be a substitute for a meticulous dissection technique. Now a few words and images on ICG fluorescence cholangiography in uh, laparoscopic cholecystectomy. In recent years, the interest in this technology, in particular applied to laparoscopic cholecystectomy, has grown exponentially, as can be seen from the number of papers published. The obvious advantages of these images, uh, this imaging technique are the ease of use with almost uh, no learning curve needed, the extremely low toxicity and no ionizing radiation involved, and the ability to visualize anatomical structures prior to surgical dissection. Protocols of use still remain to be defined, such as dose and timing. As you can see from these images, however, fluorescence cholangiography makes the invisible visible, both in simple and more complex cases, both before and during after dissection. And as demonstrated by this short video, the investments and technological advances have made the possible to obtain the superposition of near infrared light uh, with white light 
allowing the surgeon to proceed with the surgical dissection of biliary structures constantly guided by the ICG fluorescence. This 2017 review analyzed 19 studies showing that with the use of ICG allows over 85% uh, visualization of the cystic duct before dissection and average 70% common bile duct visualization before dissection. In the, this uh, same review, four studies compared the use of uh, ICG fluorescence colandrogram with the standard uh, contrast uh, colandrography in uh, 215 patients showing a moderate quality evidence that ICG is better than IOC in common uh, in cystic duct visualization, although with no statistically significant difference, and a moderate low quality evidence that ICG is better than IOC, even in common bile duct visualization. This most recent uh, 2020 review of 11 studies involving more than 2,200 patients focused on outcomes such as the shorter biliary anatomy identification time for ICG, the higher success rate of biliary tract imaging again for fluorescence, and the lower rate of conversion to open surgery compared to a control group in white light image. A very recent meta-analysis on a large number of patients, over 6,000 uh, patients included, suggests that although large comparative trials remain necessary, using ICG fluorescent colandrography sizably decrease bile duct injuries and conversion to open surgery rates compared to white light alone. Another meta-analysis, focusing on comparison uh, of ICG and the standard interoperative colandrogram reported significantly higher cystic duct, common bile duct, and common hepatic duct visualization rate by ICG compared to standard colandrogram. In particular, these uh, 120 patients uh, single center randomized control trial published last year showed no difference between ICG fluorescence and X-ray colandrography groups in the ability to visualize the critical junction, confirming that ICG is not inferior to X-ray colandrogram, while fluorescence colandrography was significantly faster. Speaking of when to use intraoperative imaging, I would like to mention another randomized controlled trial that performed a sub-analysis of the results related to degree of inflammation in uh, laparoscopic cholecystectomy and BMI. Despite the limited depth of tissue penetration of ICG, the ability to identify bilayer anatomy prior to dissection remained high and higher than in standard imaging, even with the increasing of BMI. So fluorescence colandrography could therefore have a preferential use in obese patients to clarify the anatomy. The same happens in the acute settings. The degree of inflammation negatively affects the possibility to identify bilayer structures in both groups, ICG and white light group but ICG significantly helps the identification of the common bile duct in acute cholecystitis. Finally, from this survey on surgeons' perceptions, only 12% uh, of them uh, declare to perform routine intraoperative standard contrast colandrogram. Uh, while 84% of the surgeons felt that the most advantageous characteristic of uh, uh, ICG fluorescent colandrography is the lack of any biliary tree incision and dissection. And 78% uh, of them felt that any surgeon who performed laparoscopic cholecystectomy could benefit from ICG imaging. 
while there are other studies that have focused on the potential educational role of ICG imaging, stating that fluorescence cholangiography enhanced identification skills of inexperienced surgeons, such as residents, during laparoscopic cholecystectomy compared to a conventional training. In conclusion, uh, we can state that we are performing laparoscopic cholecystectomy in the ICG fluorescence era. Uh, and so ICG fluorescence cholangiography is a safe and effective technique. It is demonstrated to be not inferior to intraoperative standard cholangiogram, is less time consuming, less invasive. It has a potential role for residence activity and it is feasible and useful in urgent settings such as acute cholecystitis. Thank you for the attention.